Now we're back to another episode of LTR, which stands for Leading the Relationship. I've tagged it that way uh, here in the Manosphere. Uh, LTR is often used as to uh, speak on long-term relationships. But in the champion's book, uh, the man must lead the relationship. And today's tip is another example of that. In this episode, I'm going to talk about how a man should walk or stand with his woman. Now, yesterday I did a video and I gave my opinion on the whole Jeff Bezos, Leonardo DiCaprio situation. Now, I'm going to show you an illustration in just a moment as to what I mean by this. But if you pay close attention, you're going to see that Bezos is standing behind his girlfriend. She's standing out in front of him and he's kind of, that's why uh, this appears this way. Now, if this was done in reverse, where Bezos was in front of his woman and she was beside him or just behind him, okay? I'm not saying she has to be way in the back, like, and you snap your fingers, like, all right, you can walk, you can walk now. Well, maybe sometimes, <laughs> but you know what I mean? The man should always be about two steps ahead of his woman, okay? At least one, okay? At least one, I say two, maybe sometimes even three. You should be ahead of your woman. You should even stand in front of your woman, okay? Because if you don't do this and you're always allowing your woman to walk into establishments first, that's another thing. Don't hold the door open for your woman to enter. I know that's the gentlemanly thing to do, but in my opinion, you should walk in first as the man, and then you scope the perimeter. You do this quickly in a matter of a second or two. You kind of look, uh, uh, this is part of being the protector in the relationship. You, you see that there's no harm. There's nothing, um, there's, no, there's no conditions that could be potentially hazardous or and you've noticed, you've seen what is there. And then you hold the door open for her or better yet, she gets used to this, this way and she holds the door open for you, okay? She realizes that you're the leader, you're the protector, and you're in charge. And so, so she holds the door open for her man to go in and make sure everything is good before the two of you enter, okay? Otherwise, what? You open the door for the woman, she walks in. She's not head of security, is she? <laughs> is she? I don't know, you tell me. Is she head of security? Hopefully not, okay? Something happens, she's gonna blame you. So part of the leader, part of being the man in the relationship, leading the relationship is that you must always be first. This is the way it is, okay? So you must be first also when it's time to eat. <laughs> okay, I'm just throwing this one in here, bonus tip, that that's why your woman should serve you first because you are the lead, you are the head of the household. You eat before the children. I'm not saying that children have to wait until you're done. No, you guys can eat together, but your plate should be down first because the woman should be demonstrating not only to you, but to the children that you are in charge, you are the leader. But first and foremost, you have to be that leader. Women are not gonna want to give you the keys. They're not gonna wanna give you submission. They're not gonna wanna put you first if you're not demonstrating leadership qualities. So in summary, guys, I'll make this a short one. Part of leading the relationship is leading. When you guys are walking down the street, she stands on the inside of the street, you stand toward the curb, okay? You should always be on the curb as the man because you're you're protecting, okay? A man is the protector, the woman is the nurturer, okay? <laughs> Two different roles in a relationship. Gotta get used to it, should settle into it, okay? So walk ahead of her. Don't let your woman walk ahead of you. I see this happen so much in public where the woman is walking so ahead like a supermodel, like a supermodel walking ahead of her man, like, Cool out. I blame him for that shit. I don't blame her. She's just being a woman. I don't blame you women for trying to be like that. You're going to try to get away with what you can get away with. Okay. It's the man's responsibility to say, yo, I'm the man here. I'm ahead. And you, and you start this from the very beginning. You walk ahead of her. Okay. You go into establishments before her. If you're standing there conducting business at a dinner party, such as Bezos and Leonardo DiCaprio, notice he's standing behind his woman looking up like that's why if he was standing in front of her, now he's talking to Leonardo. Now she still might be in back of him. If he's a beta everywhere else, if you know, if he's a beta to her, okay. And he pedestalized her. She could still be in back of him, you know, batting her eyes. She still could be, but if you're the man in the relationship and she knows to respect you, Okay, was it wrong for her to do what she was doing? I mean, I'm not gonna call it wrong because I'm not in a relationship with her. With, with her. 
Okay, it's up to Bezos to determine if that was wrong. Now, if it's me, it ain't gonna happen because I'm leading from the start. I'm leading everything, okay? So if you're standing in front of your woman, she's right beside you. She doesn't have to be directly in back of you hiding, okay? But she has to be in back or to the side, okay? And, and kind of waiting on your call on her to participate to some degree, okay? Plus, before you go into establishments or dinner parties or special events, you should be gaming your woman up as to how you how the two of you should be engaging anyway. I need you to talk to Bob Smith. Uh, when I walk in, I'm gonna go talk to uh, uh, John Dole over there because I have a project I wanna work on with him where, where us two are in collaboration, but I need you to go over, to, over and talk to Bob Smith for me, okay? Now, if you're gaming her up to go do that, different story, okay? You're leading the relationship. Relationship. But if she just kind of goes wherever the hell she wants to go, talk to whoever she wants to talk to, bats her eyes, of course she's going to be an attention whore, okay? Because you're allowing her to be one, okay? When she's with a man she respects, she's looking to him for, her, for guidance and leadership. So remember, you stand in front, you walk ahead, you go in the establishment first. She holds the door open for you. Or, or maybe you you open the door, you look in, and then you let her in. But if she's a woman that respects you, she's gonna open your door. Shit, even in the car. Let's say you let her in the car. She should be reaching over to help you get in the car, okay? That's what women should be doing if the man's leading the relationship. Leave your comment down below. I hope I added some value, guys. I have a tremendous amount of life experiences, which is why I teach uh, men and women worldwide. I hope to empower you with new knowledge and insight and information that you can utilize in your own lives uh, to potentially strengthen yourselves and the relationship. Consider like, comment, and subscribing to the channel. Shout out to everybody in, in the comment section. I read all the comments and I'm gonna be happy to um, touch base with you guys moving forward. I'm gonna be highlighting some of these comments that I either find uh, funny, humorous, or, or even being a great addition to the topic. So I invite you to comment down below. Until next time, LTR, Leading the Relationship, presented by Everett Overton. See you in the next one.